India, man. So this was the coolest electric off-road machine you could make back in the days, man. 55 pounds an hour, maybe. is like 2012 2013 something like that that's when i start to get into electric bikes man you couldn't buy anything ready uh you need to make your own machine and this was the coolest frame of road downhill long travel suspension here and yeah no room for batteries man but yeah, whatever you just put a uh, battery and a handlebar like I did here. Okay, yeah, it doesn't really feel too weird. Yeah, but most of the people they actually had batteries mounted like inside the backpack and a little wire coming through the motor controller and the motor. So that's how I did in all my bikes back in the day. And yes, yeah, some people end up putting the battery mounted right here, but yeah, it's a bit painful when you dismount from the bike and hit your balls every time on the battery or you some people end up putting here and limiting the travel so the tire never end up hitting the battery but yeah it was a bit tricky you need to be creative so yeah that was actually a very cool solution back in the day people be like oh my god that's amazing why didn't i think that <laughs> all right so this is the battery man. so there's actually two small batteries linked in series here man i'm gonna explain i'm gonna explain i'm gonna explain okay so you see here this is the gng uh motor it's got double chain this is the motor here in the middle here oh this guy beautiful man so there's a reduction pulley here happening and then 48 volts motor controller right here kelly 48 volts Okay, this was, oh, Kelly, man, good brand. Ooh. And then you got two 21 volts batteries, man. So why two 21 volts? Why not link them all in series, man? Haha, -ha. you can understand when I start explaining the charger, okay? <laughs> but here you see, so the six cells in series here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they're connected in series to give you the voltage and five cells in parallel here, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. So they give you the range, the amp hours, you see, when you're going by a battery, okay? And then here, so you come, you have going to have like a two pairs of wires, and you'll be like, why? Why is like not, why is it so confusing? So you're going to have this connector here. I just pull things apart because I'm fixing something. And then you're going to plug into this, okay? And then here, we're actually going to be linking the batteries in series. See this red wire here? It's actually linking... So getting the, the negative connecting to the positive of the next battery. So you see here, so the, bar, the, the motor control is actually getting the negative from one battery, positive from the other, and the link here. Okay, and you're like, why here? Why not series the batteries right there? Okay, and then you're gonna look, the charger. The charger is actually 12 volts, man. 12 volts from HP. So this is a computer server, like a big powerful computer, commercial computer. Yeah, and then you're gonna have 12 volts, but hang on, up to 47 amp, hang on, 12 volts charger, 21 volts battery, and 48 volts controller. How do you get to these numbers, man? How do you all add up? Everything was weird. You just gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta figure out things, and yeah, so the clever solution was actually connectors, man. So, here you're gonna split, the, or, or, or like when you plug here, you're connecting series. When you disconnect uh, and connect to the charger, you're connecting in parallel. So this charger is actually 12 volts here. So this is modified, see, it's all handmade technology here, man. So my friend installed this uh, connectors here, so because normally it would be just as gold plate things, so you don't have the connection there. Okay, so it feeds 12 volts here to the charger. So this converts 12 volts to 21 volts, magically converts here. And then you're gonna connect to the battery. All right, but this is pumping a lot of power, right? And then what happened is you don't have a battery management system. No one trusted battery management system back in the days, okay? So this was just a balancing uh, circuit, okay? So you see, it's just uh, like little resistors. Uh, yeah, and there's nothing to go wrong here. Very small, very simple, but yeah, it's not ideal. So this thing is actually, it doesn't protect. There's no protection. There's no low voltage cutoff, no high voltage cutoff. 
So if you if you one of the cells here it goes bad, and then you're pumping a lot of power here with the charger, bang, 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 bang. So there's nothing watching. So this thing you might go all the way out, ba 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 ba, kaboom, man! You're gonna have a battery fire. Or well, same will be for low voltage cutoff. So if you one of the cells here is really low, and then you're just going, 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 going. Yeah, the controller eventually gonna have a low voltage cutoff, but the controller can't see the voltage of that particular cell. That's a battery management system job, and there's no battery management system. So the voltage might be going down, 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 and guess what? Back in the day, they used to glue the cells together, okay? So there's no cell holders, you can't do anything. You can't replace a bad cell here, okay? So this is all hot, uh, super glue or hot glue. This one is actually super glue, okay? Really impossible to replace. So if you want series go bad, you need to crack the thing with a hammer or something, which is not ideal. <laughs> okay, so yeah, and I'm fixing here. So pretty simple fix, because I understand what's going on here. So this is not new for me. <laughs> I actually measured all the series here to see if they're balanced using my multimeter here. Everything looked balanced. I crimped the new connector. So that's the display here. So yeah, oh, it's cool. So this is just a power meter, okay? So you see here, you can see all the, there's no protection. It's not waterproof at all. So if there's any rain, we're just gonna get here. And then you see that the, power, the, the red wire here is actually cut. You're like, why, man? Why isn't this working here? So for the positive, you only need uh, to touch to the battery positive here to get the display working. So see, connection, beautiful, man. High tech, electrical tape, all melted. <laughs> all right, so, but the, red, the black wire is actually, it needs to flow through the shunt. And that's how it will be measuring the current flowing here, okay? So you get the voltage, you just need to tap to the voltage and the current you need to be flowing here through the negative uh, and then between the whatever you're measuring, the battery, the motor controller, so you see the voltage, okay? Ah, now let's talk about the motor here, man. So this is the GNG belt driven motor, man. Look how it's mounted to the bike here, okay? Yeah, but there's also a cool mount right here on top. And yeah, there's a lot of twisting force here. There's a lot of uh, side load uh, torque. So this thing ended up like forcing it. It's not ideal, but back in the day, ah man, this is the coolest, man. It sounds like a chainsaw, yeah, pretty loud, but yeah, they had the coolest machine in town. Look, the belt is actually made in Germany, continental, yeah. My friend said that he ended up stripping maybe 30 to 35 belts in, along the years. It was like 30 to 35, man. That, nah, you're lying to me, man. That's crazy, too, too crazy. And then he said, yeah, man, it's always here. So here there's a lot of torque in a very small area, okay? So he always end up stripping just like a, a little bit of the belt and that's it, the belt's gone, man. Depending on the gear you are and how much power you're cranking there, uh, yeah, you end up stripping. See you later, man. Mm. Right, so just finished fixing the bike so you can see the motor spinning here. So yeah, I did a bit of tidying up, put the cover on, uh, organized the wires here, put the new contacts here. Well, that, that was a problem here. Yeah, so look the old crusty ones here, man. They're disgusting, man. Whoa! I don't know if you can see inside the black one here is completely melted. Can't even see the contact, right? So I'm just gonna turn it on here. Yeah, tidy up, did a bit of soldering, put the wires back inside. I'm gonna turn it back on here. Hang on, I need two hands. Ah, yeah, bike is on. All right, so the bike is on here, so the motor control is on. And now let's check the high tech display, man. Oh, no power here at the moment. So let's run the motor, man. I'm gonna spin the throttle here, you're gonna see. Alright, I'm gonna be plugging the battery to charge, so you see 12 volt charger, I'm gonna turn it on here. Yeah, fan is running, and it's saying here 20 amps, 21.6 volts for 6S battery, 
So disconnect the bike here, plug into the charger. So let's see what happens. Eh? And then press start. Yeah, look. Bang! Another fan. 10 amp. 22, 23 volts. Yeah. And that's gonna take some time now. Right, so quickly browsing here the charger settings. So you see like 24.3 volts. So it's actually charging 9.7 amp for 35 minutes. Let's just browse here. Capacity, yeah, it's not that much. Should be 26,000 milliamp hour or 26 amp hours. Okay, so you go here, safety timer, 500 mini minutes maximum. Temperature cut off, 50, yeah, whatever. Yeah, input voltage, so it's actually 12.3 volts. From the charger here, 12 volts. And 20.8 amps at the moment. So you can do it double than that. Oh, all right, I've been riding the bike for a little bit. So just understanding the bike, the way it works here. So yeah, if you go too hard on the throttle, so the bike actually starts stripping the belts here, man. So I need to kind of like, uh, uh, and I've been getting maybe like 13 to 1500 watts. Voltage dropped a little bit, so I don't know now. So let's just go and do a little test. Everything here, it's a little bit uphill. So yeah, so let's see. No, not second here. Oh, belt, belt, that's the belt, belt down. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, up here, up here, up here. Oh, I need to change gear, I need to change gear. Oh, it's still going. Oh, hopefully I didn't destroy the belt. Yeah. Oh, wrong gear, wrong gear. Oh, painful, man. Oh. This was the best technology back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, wrong gear, wrong gear. Gonna destroy the belt. Too much power as well. Alright. <laughs> yeah. So, now it's a little bit up downhill. So let's let's go back. That's the bike, man. Oh, very ghetto, but that's what you had back in the days, man. Too many things to worry about. Oh, stripping belts and then chain, lubrication, tension, the 12 volt charge that goes to 21 volts, that goes in parallel and then disconnect and connect in series to run the bike here. Oh, what do you think, man? Oh, I wanna know. Please hit the subscribe button, man. Subscribe, subscribe if you wanna feel the power, man. Whoa, power! Thank you. <laughs> if you like my channel, please support my work on Patreon. One dollar, two dollars, five dollars. <laughs>